Hello, and thanks for taking time today for a very important topic. Every day around the world, 270,000 Aramark employees like you enrich and nourish lives by serving literally thousands of our customers and millions of consumers. That's an incredible responsibility we all take very seriously. It means nothing is more important than ensuring the safety of our employees and the safety of our consumers who really put their trust in us. And it's why we're committed to the highest standards of food safety and safety on the job. Safety is really at the core of Aramark's promise to everyone we serve and to each one of our employees. When it comes to safety, you play a big role. Safety isn't a once in a while priority or only something you do when someone's looking. It's an every moment of every day mindset. And that's why I'm counting on you to make safety your top priority at work. Regardless of whether you're in a kitchen, a warehouse, an office, or a truck, because by following all our safety standards, our procedures and rules, you're helping Aramark maintain the highest levels of quality and deliver against that service we promise to our customers. And you keep yourself and your colleagues safe so that at the end of each shift, you go home safely to your family and friends. Now talking about safety is one thing, but we have to make it more than talk. Safety, it must be an everyday reality. And with that in mind, we want you to be as informed and as prepared as possible. The video you're about to watch focuses on important do's and don'ts to help you make safety an everyday reality. So let me turn it over to safety himself to show you firsthand what it means to work safely at Aramark. Thanks, and please work safely. Hello, people. I'm Safety, and I'm here today because I care about you. On behalf of the whole Aramark team, thanks for joining our staff. I hope this job is a great one for you. Now that you've heard about the safe commitment, there are a few things I need you to know. Why? Because I want you safe. It's time to talk about what you wear to work. Don't wear sneakers. This ain't the NBA Finals. You're at work. Wear safety-toed shoes or wear slip-resistant shoes. I do not want you to slip or have your feet injured. Hand them over. Get those out of here. I want you safe. That's my kind of footwear. Also, remember to wear hand and arm protection as well as face and eye protection when necessary. The next thing we need to discuss, picking stuff up. I'm talking about safe lifting, folks. Don't be that guy. Get someone else to help you or use a cart when moving things. Let me help you out, sir. Hold the object close. And quit twisting yourself around like a pretzel. Keep the work below your shoulders and above your knees. Now, be kind to your body, man. You're not an Olympic power lifter. Now, use your legs. Chin up, back straight. I got your back. Now listen. I don't care if you work in a warehouse or an office. Keep your area clean, ladies and gentlemen, please. I'm talking to you. Thank you. Keep your workspace well organized. It not only reduces the risk of injury, it helps you work better and you enjoy your job more. Hey, you're doing good. When you see an area you can improve by storing things correctly, do it especially if you see boxes scattered about. As for your work area, clean it as you go and schedule a regular time each week to stack and store. Organized environments are critical. I'm proud of you. I'm sorry, I need to talk about this for a moment. Folks, do not operate a forklift without proper certification and permits. Whether you're operating machinery or not, always pay attention to your surroundings. Excuse me.
Excuse me, sir. Are you trained? Do you have a permit? That is not safe. Let's talk about lockout tagout. At Aramark, lockout tagout is a practice that makes sure powered equipment is turned off before servicing. People who are trained in maintenance and servicing must lock out and tag out equipment to ensure that it can't be used during this activity. If you see a lock or tag, don't use the equipment. I want it to be known that I told you. I warned you not to use that equipment. Why is no one listening to me? When you see equipment that needs repair, tell a supervisor. If you need to clean or service equipment, unplug it. Also, Look for signs that indicate things like immediate hazards, dangers, or cautions. In addition, there are protective signs that give you safety instructions, as well as signage for things like emergency exits or eye wash stations. As an Aramark employee, one of the most important things you can do is take care of the environment. That's why it's vital you stay up to speed on environmental safety. Oh, I get it. Take care of the environment, don't hurt the fish. Okay, moving along. When you do specific jobs, make sure they comply with all governing regulations, your client's environmental requirements, and Aramark standards. Here's some of the places you need to pay attention. Your use and disposal of chemicals, handling of trash, hazard waste storage, pressure washing and pool cleaning, maintenance of equipment, oils and refrigerants, and uses of cleaners, paints, and petroleum products. Oh yeah. It's key to know what's allowed down storm drains and sanitary drains. The default rule is, nothing goes down the drains unless you have confirmation that it's acceptable, right? Right, because when unacceptable materials were released down storm drains, the community suffers, including the fish. You may use chemicals in your job. This could be dangerous, sometimes fatal in fact. The best thing you can do is learn about the chemicals you use. Read the labels and safety data sheets. Look for hazard statements that tell you exactly what you need to watch out for. Most chemicals are not designed to be mixed with other chemicals. That's why it's important to know exactly what you're dealing with. Make sure chemicals are labeled and stored in leak-proof containers. Keep them neatly organized and always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment when you use them. For example, goggles and chemical-resistant gloves. Security! This isn't a science experiment. This is a work environment. Poison, fire, explosives, burns, not on my watch. Wherever you work, always look for the danger signs, caution and warning signs, and informational signs. Don't pour kitchen grease, chemicals, or floor stripper down sinks. And make sure you know the proper drain to empty or wash things. Sometimes your job requires you to use specific tools or equipment. If you feel uncomfortable using any type of equipment or tool, don't use it until you ask to be trained. As for things like 
ladders. Check to make sure it has all its proper parts, nothing broken or missing. Also, make sure it can safely support whatever you need to do. You, my friend, are in ladder timeout. Some other things to think about when in the work areas, no running, no horseplay, no unauthorized use of equipment, and no tampering. When you can walk around dangerous areas, do it. I want you safe. At the end of the day, I'm not the most important person when it comes to your well-being. You are. You have the biggest role to play when it comes to avoiding danger. Safety is the responsibility of all team members. Everyone has a role. It's tough to work confidently and freely if you don't feel safe. Do you get what I'm saying? When safety is compromised, productivity slows down, morale suffers, people lose trust. That's why everything needs to be done in a safe and correct manner. That's how we create a strong safety culture. We want you to work safely. But more than that, we want you to go home safely. To your friends, to your family, to your life outside of work. But it starts with you. And it starts by you taking me, safety, seriously. You do that, we can all go home safely. And that's it, folks. Let's get out there and do it right. I'll be there with you the whole time. Why? Because I'm safety, and I want you safe.